Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a menu to your WordPress website like this, a simple menu to start with. And then I'm going to show you how to add a drop down menu like the one over here. And if you've got a WordPress website, you should be able to do this. Most themes or designs these days allow you to add a drop down menu like this. On a side note, if you want to make a beautiful website like this, just check out the description below and we'll show you how to do that step by step. But let's get into it. I'll just log into my WordPress dashboard. Okay, the first thing we want to do is go to Appearance and click on Menus. You may already have an existing menu in place, but to do this, I'm going to create a brand new one. So I'm just going to create a new menu. I'm going to give this a name and for this, it's going to be the website's main menu. So let's just call it the website main menu, whatever you want to call it really, and click on the create menu button. The first thing you need to do is if you want it to be a main menu of your website and appear at the top, you need to tick the primary menu checkbox. So tick that and then save. That will then become your website's primary menu as opposed to other menus that you can add to your website. For example, at the bottom of your site in a footer or the sidebar. So now we can start adding items to our menu. And to start with, we can click on any one of the pre-built pages over here that you may already have set up on your website. So these pages are automatically populated based on the pages that you've created on your website. Now, if any of them don't appear, you can add a new page and just give it a title such as sports therapy, click publish. And what that will do when you refresh this page, that becomes available. So you can start adding the things to your menu structure. So say we want to add the sports therapy page. Um, we want to add the healthcare page and the contact page. Click add to menu. You can rearrange simply by dragging and dropping like this. And you can also add some custom links. So in this case, I want to add a home page link. So if I copy my home page URL and paste that in there and call that home, add to menu. Perfect. You can also rename any of the links that you see over here or change the URLs and then hit save menu. Once that's loaded, just visit your website and you'll be able to see that. There we go. Home healthcare sports therapy, contact us. Now let's say we want to create a drop down menu that appears when the user hovers over any of the top level menu items. So in this case, let's say that under healthcare, we've got a range of services that we can offer. As an example, we've got consultations, we've got physiotherapy, I can add that to menu. I can add any posts that you that I've created. In this case, I don't have any, but I can add any categories that have been created. If you've got any categories for your website or your blog. And of course, you can add any custom links to throw into your menu structure. Now, here is the key. To add a drop down menu, what you need to do is get the items that you want to appear in the drop down and drag them below and across. So they're indented and they become a sub item of the thing above it. So in this case, physiotherapy consultation is also a sub item. We want that as a sub item and say we also want sports therapy as a sub item and click on save menu. Once that has saved successfully, you can then refresh your website. And then you should be able to hover over that item and have a drop down menu just like that. Now keep in mind, there's also a well, WordPress allows you to indent one further for it to become a sub item of the one above it. So you can actually have three level menus if you wanted to but only for themes that allow that. Now for this one, I'm not too sure, but we can always experiment. So let's try that. I actually don't think this will work, but um, some themes will allow you to do that. 
So look, that's awesome. This does allow us to do that, and that's pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is to make the um, menu look a little better, I'm going to throw one more item in called the photo gallery, and throw that in there, save. And now we've got a three-level menu. And you can add as many items as you want to your menu, just like that. Um, this will make it so that consultation and photo gallery are under healthcare, and these two things are under consultation. So I hope that gives you an idea of what you're able to achieve with your WordPress menu and structure your website in a hierarchy that makes sense for your website's visitors. If you found this video helpful, please do give this a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more cool ideas on how to make a WordPress website and visit the link below if you want to make a website for free step by step. Thanks for watching, catch you in the next video.